Buku, the heartbeat of Chief Tribe, a town from Benue State, the food basket of the nation, Nigeria. Surrounded by picturesque landmarks, lost shields, rocky mountains, and very rich in culture. Buku, local government area, is remarkably home to more than 450,000 people and is projected to reach 750,000 people by 2035, according to World Population Review. Buku offers an intoxicating blend of old and new, as many of the chief age old traditions and customs still survive to this date. Welcome to Boko. They had beats of Chief Tribe. With this breathtaking view, this town truly offers something special for everyone. Come along with me to the end of the video. As a tall G town, as it's fondly called by its occupants. I will be riding on a motorcycle for this trip. I am very excited about this. There are no taxi in Boko, so Okada, motorcycle or bike, either name you choose to call, is the choice means of transportation within the town. If you are visiting Boko for the first time, the fare prices ranges from 15 Naira up to 200 Naira. Here is Jess Taka Stadium, home to one time famous football club in Nigeria, the BCC Lions of Boko. Right there is the entrance to the palace of the great king of Thief Kingdom, the Toe Thief. You can find a link to the video I made about it brief the history of Thief in the description below. And here lies all the past kings of the Thief Kingdom as handsome monument of granite is placed over their graves. Here is the monument of His Royal Majesty Ochivili Maki Zakwe to Thief the First. His Royal Majesty Ochivili Gundualuo to Thief the Second. His Royal Majesty Ochivili Dr. James Akbala Oshi to Thief the Third. And His Royal Majesty Ochivili Dr. Alfred. Akawi Tokula to Thief the Fort. It's really amazing to see all the four late kings monuments at one place. Rest on Greek kings. Meet the root sign vulcanizer. Making 1,000 Naira a day. Approximately 2 US dollars to take care of his family. This is Jess Taka Road, 
one of the busiest road in Boko. On my way to the monument of Senator Jay Starka. Monument of one of the founding fathers of TV, Senator J. S. Taka. My utmost respect to a great man. Rest on, sir. Buku has a great mix of modern conveniences, comforts, and affordable cost of living compared to other towns of the same size. Several high institutions could be seen around Buku. Kai University, I met a woman who ran a roadside restaurant for over 10 years, subsidizing food prices for students. Buku is sure a religious town. Churches and mosques could be seen around town. Surprisingly, farms could be seen around town.
The marketplace is the best place to go when I visit any town or city. To see what the locals are eating, what they are wearing, and how they act. Haircuts at the barbing salons are relatively affordable from 300 to 500 naira. Restaurants could be seen around the town too. Buko also has variety of affordable accommodations as hotels could be seen. Juvena provide the local cultural blend of music during weekends. Base Garden is one of the oldest hotels in Boko. Princess Jackies from the reception to the rooms. The atmosphere here is extraordinary. Doors are open 24 hours. I was told about a new spot coming up in town. Sea Rock Lounge. It seems exclusiveness and quality is favored over quantity here. I hope to come back here sometime soon.
Night Life. This is Belize Nightclub. Here, doors are open from 4 p.m. with a vibe that busts till early hours of the morning. As regards security, Boko seems relatively quiet and secure to me. Nevertheless, I believe it is difficult to find any town or city that is 100% crime-free. I feel on our efforts to have a chat with the Nigerian police, as I was told by some of the officers they needed clearance from the state headquarters. There's something about this incredible town I never expected. I cannot possibly put down all my experience in one video. Even though I only had 24 hours, Bogo was truly one of the most impactful towns I ever visited. People here in Bogo are extremely friendly and I will definitely be back home again. <laughs> <laughs>